Mark Zuckerberg unrelenting effort towards connecting the world through social media. Mark Elliott Zuckerberg was born on May 14, 1984, in White Plains, New York to psychiatrist Karen, Nay Kempner, and dentist Edward Zuckerberg. He and his three sisters, Ariel, Randy, and Donna, were raised in a Reformed Jewish household in Dobbs Ferry, New York. His great-grandparents were Jewish emigrants from Austria, Germany, and Poland. Zuckerberg initially attended Ardsley High School before transferring to Phillips Exeter Academy. He was captain of the fencing team. Zuckerberg began using computers and writing software in middle school. In high school, he built a program that allowed all the computers between his house and his father's dental office to communicate with each other. During Zuckerberg's high school years, he worked to build a music player called the Synapse Media Player. The device used machine learning to learn the user's listening habits, which was posted to Slashdot and received a rating of 3 out of 5 from PC Magazine The New Yorker once said of Zuckerberg, some kids played computer games, Mark created them. The New Yorker noted that by the time Zuckerberg began classes at Harvard in 2002, he had already achieved a reputation as a programming prodigy. He studied psychology and computer science and belonged to Alpha Epsilon Pi and Kirkland House. In his second year, he wrote a program that he called Course Match, which allowed users to make class selection decisions based on the choices of other students and help them form study groups. Later, he created a different program he initially called Face Mash that let students select the best-looking person from a choice of photos. Ari Hazit, Zuckerberg's roommate at the time, explained. We had books called Face Books, which included the names and pictures of everyone who lived in the student dorms. At first, he built a site and placed two pictures or pictures of two males and two females. Visitors to the site had to choose who was hotter, and according to the votes there would be a ranking. The site went up over a weekend, but by Monday morning, the college shut it down, because its popularity had overwhelmed one of Harvard's network switches preventing students from accessing the internet. In addition, many students complained that their photos were being used without permission. Zuckerberg apologized publicly, and the student paper ran articles stating that his site was completely improper. In January 2004, Zuckerberg began writing code for a new website. On February 4, 2004, Zuckerberg launched Thiefisbook, originally located at the Facebook.com, in partnership with his roommates Eduardo Saverin, Andrew McCullum, Dustin Moskovitz, and Chris Hughes. An earlier inspiration for Facebook may have come from Phillips Exeter Academy, the prep school from which Zuckerberg graduated in 2002. It published its own student directory, the photo address book, which students referred to as the Facebook. Such photo directories were an important part of the student social experience at many private schools. With them, students were able to list attributes such as their class years, their friends, and their telephone numbers. Six days after the site launched, three Harvard seniors, Cameron Winklevoss, Tyler Winklevoss, and Divya Narendra, accused Zuckerberg of intentionally misleading them into believing that he would help them build a social network called HarvardConnection.com, when he was using their ideas to build a competing product. The three complained to the Harvard Crimson, and the newspaper began an investigation in response. While Zuckerberg tried to convince the editors not to run the story, he also broke into two of the editor's email accounts, for which he made use of their private login data logs from the Facebook. Following the official launch of the Facebook social media platform, the three filed a lawsuit against Zuckerberg that resulted in a settlement. The agreed settlement was for 1.2 million Facebook shares and $20 million in cash. Zuckerberg dropped out of Harvard in his sophomore year in order to complete the project. Zuckerberg, Moskowitz, and the other co-founders moved to Palo Alto, California, where they leased a small house that served as an office. Over the summer, Zuckerberg met Peter Thiel, who invested in his company. They got their first office in mid-2004. They had already turned down offers by major corporations to buy the company. In an interview in 2007, Zuckerberg explained his reasoning, it's not because of the amount of money. For me and my colleagues, the most important thing is that we create an open information flow for people. 
Having media corporations owned by conglomerates is just not an attractive idea to me. In 2007, Zuckerberg was added to MIT Technology Review's TR35 list as one of the top 35 innovators in the world under the age of 35. Vanity Fair magazine named Zuckerberg number one on its 2010 list of the top 100 most influential people of the information age. Zuckerberg ranked number 23 on the Vanity Fair 100 list in 2009. In 2010, Zuckerberg was chosen as number 16 in New Statesman's annual survey of the world's 50 most influential figures. In a 2011 interview with PBS shortly after the death of Steve Jobs, Zuckerberg said that Jobs had advised him on how to create a management team at Facebook that was focused on building as high quality and good things as you are. On October 1, 2012, Zuckerberg met with then-Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev in Moscow to stimulate social media innovation in Russia and to boost Facebook's position in the Russian market. In 2012, Facebook had roughly 9 million users in Russia, while domestic clone VK had around 34 million. On August 19, 2013, The Washington Post reported that Zuckerberg's Facebook profile was hacked by an unemployed web developer. Zuckerberg was the keynote speaker at the 2014 Mobile World Congress, MWC, held in Barcelona, Spain, in March 2014, which was attended by 75,000 delegates. Various media sources highlighted the connection between Facebook's focus on mobile technology in Zuckerberg's speech, stating that mobile represents the future of the company. Zuckerberg receives a $1 salary as CEO of Facebook. In 2013, Zuckerberg launched Internet.org, which he described as an initiative to provide Internet access to the 5 billion people without it as of the launch date. The project faced significant opposition in India, where activists said its limited Internet ran counter to the principle of net neutrality, Zuckerberg responded by saying that a limited Internet was better than no Internet. Internet.org was shut down in India in February 2016, although Zuckerberg later met with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to discuss further possibilities. Zuckerberg is a board member of the Solar Sail spacecraft development project Breakthrough Starshot, which he co-founded with Yuri Milner and Stephen Hawking in 2016. In June 2016, Business Insider named Zuckerberg one of the top 10 business visionaries creating value for the world, along with Elon Musk and Sal Khan, due to the fact that he and his wife pledged to give away 99% of their wealth then estimated at $55.0 billion. Forbes 400 list of wealthiest Americans in 2023, he was ranked 8th with a personal wealth of $106 billion. As of February 2024, Zuckerberg's net worth was estimated at $165 billion by Forbes, making him the fourth richest person in the world. On May 25, 2017, at Harvard's 366th commencement day, Zuckerberg, after giving a commencement speech, received an honorary degree from Harvard. In January 2019, Zuckerberg laid plans to integrate an end-to-end -end encrypted system for three major social media platforms, including Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp. On August 14, 2020, Facebook integrated the chat systems for Instagram and Messenger on both iOS and Android devices. The update encouraged cross-communication between Instagram and Facebook users. In 2022, Zuckerberg took up training in both mixed martial arts, MMA, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, BJJ, and has been open about his love for the two sports. He competed in a BJJ tournament on May 6, 2023, and won both a silver and gold medal in GI and no GI, competing at white belt. On July 22, 2023, Zuckerberg was promoted to blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu by Dave Camarillo. Four months later, Zuckerberg announced that he was preparing to make his MMA debut but had suffered an anterior cruciate ligament injury in training that required surgery and had delayed this. Zuckerberg founded the startup, Education Foundation. On September 22, 2010, it was reported that he had donated $100 million to Newark Public Schools, the public school system of Newark, New Jersey. In 2010, Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, 
an investor Warren Buffett signed, the Giving Pledge, in which they said they would donate to charity at least half of their wealth over the course of time, and invited others among the wealthy to donate 50% or more of their wealth to charity. In December 2012, Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chan said that over the course of their lives they would give the majority of their wealth to advancing human potential and promoting equality, in the spirit of the Giving Pledge. On December 19, 2013, Zuckerberg announced a donation of 18 million Facebook shares to the Silicon Valley Community Foundation, to be executed by the end of the month, based on Facebook's valuation as of then, the shares totaled $990 million in value. On December 31, 2013, the donation was recognized as the largest charitable gift on public record for 2013. In October 2014, Zuckerberg and his wife donated 25 million US dollars to combat the Ebola virus disease, specifically the West African Ebola virus epidemic. On December 1, 2015, Zuckerberg and Chan pledged to transfer 99% of their Facebook shares, then valued at 45 billion US dollars, to the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. The funds would not be transferred immediately, but over the course of their lives. Amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, Zuckerberg donated $25 million to a Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation-backed accelerator that is searching for treatments for the disease. He also announced $25 million in grants to support local journalism that was impacted by the pandemic and $75 million in advertisement purchases in local newspapers by Facebook Incorporated, where Facebook would market itself. Zuckerberg met his wife, fellow Harvard student Priscilla Chan, at a frat party during his sophomore year there. They began dating in 2003. In September 2010, Chan, who was by then a medical student at the University of California, San Francisco, moved into Zuckerberg's rented house in Palo Alto, California. On May 19, 2012, they married in the grounds of his mansion in an event that also celebrated her graduation from medical school. On July 31, 2015, Zuckerberg revealed they were expecting a baby girl and that Chan had previously experienced three miscarriages. Their daughter, Maxima Chan Zuckerberg, was born on December 1, 2015. They announced in a Chinese New Year video that their daughter's Chinese name is Chen Mingyu. Their second daughter, August, was born in August 2017. Zuckerberg and his wife welcomed their third daughter Aurelia on March 24, 2023, and announced the news across his social media pages. The couple also have a pulley dog named Beast, who has over 2 million followers on Facebook. In 2005, Facebook co-founder Eduardo Saverin filed a lawsuit against Zuckerberg and Facebook, alleging that Zuckerberg had illegally spent Saverin's money on personal expenses. The lawsuit was settled out of court and though terms of the settlement were sealed, the company affirmed Saverin's title as co-founder of Facebook, and Saverin agreed to stop talking to the press. In June 2010, then-Pakistani Deputy Attorney General Mohammad Azza Sadiq launched a criminal investigation into Zuckerberg and Facebook co-founders Dustin Moskovitz and Chris Hughes after a Draw Mohammed contest was hosted on Facebook. The investigation also named the anonymous German woman who created the contest. Sadiq asked the country's police to contact Interpol to have Zuckerberg and the three others arrested for blasphemy. On May 19, 2010, Facebook's website was temporarily blocked in Pakistan until Facebook removed the contest from its website at the end of May. Sadiq also asked its UN representative to raise the issue with the United Nations General Assembly. On April 10 and 11, 2018, Zuckerberg testified before the United States Senate Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transportation regarding the usage of personal data by Facebook in relation to the Facebook Cambridge Analytica data scandal. He called the whole affair a breach of trust between Alexander Kogan, Cambridge Analytica, and Facebook. Zuckerberg refused requests to appear to give evidence on the matter to a parliamentary committee in the United Kingdom. On March 25, 2021, Zuckerberg testified before the House Energy and Commerce Committee regarding Facebook's role in the spread of misinformation and hate speech on the platform. During the hearing, he was questioned about Facebook's handling of user data, its role in the January 6, 2021, 
attack on the U.S. Capitol building, and its efforts to combat misinformation and hate speech. Zuckerberg acknowledged that Facebook had a responsibility to address these issues and outlined the steps that the company is taking to improve its policies and practices. The hearing was part of a broader effort by Congress to hold tech companies accountable for their role in shaping public discourse and protecting user privacy. Court documents allege that Zuckerberg personally rejected Meta's proposals to improve teenagers' mental health. He consistently opposed efforts to enhance well-being on Facebook and Instagram, overriding senior executives like Instagram head Adam Mosseri and Global Affairs President Nick Clegg, as revealed in an ongoing lawsuit. Internal communications disclosed in the Massachusetts-initiated legal action depict Zuckerberg's resistance to better protect over 30 million teens on Instagram in the U.S., highlighting his substantial influence on Meta's decisions impacting billions of users. These documents also shed light on occasional tensions between Zuckerberg and other Meta officials advocating for improved user well-being. Mark Zuckerberg's lifestyle serves as a compelling source of inspiration for many, transcending the realm of technology and business. His journey from a college dorm room to becoming the co-founder and CEO of Facebook, one of the most influential companies globally, reflects resilience, innovation, and an unwavering commitment to his vision. Zuckerberg's relentless pursuit of excellence is evident in his work ethic. He embraced challenges, learned from setbacks, and constantly evolved his approach. This resilience is a valuable lesson for aspiring individuals facing obstacles in their pursuits. Zuckerberg's ability to navigate the ever-changing landscape of technology showcases the importance of adaptability and continuous learning. Beyond his professional achievements, Zuckerberg's philanthropic efforts demonstrate a commitment to making a positive impact on the world. Through initiatives like the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, he channels resources into addressing critical global issues, such as education, healthcare, and social justice. This altruistic approach underscores the transformative power of wealth and influence when used responsibly for the betterment of society. Do well to follow, comment, like, subscribe and don't forget to turn on notification to encourage us to publish more contents like this, from all of us at Didactic Contents we love you all.